does not sound like good cycling weather. Yes. I cycled. Me too. It's not sounding good outside. How's that question going? Which part are you on? Go. Please? Yeah. Please. Part A? Hmm? Which part are you on? I still confuse what I X and what I wish. That's okay. Oh, you wow. need to practice. Huh? Which part are you on, Ben? Which part are you on? No, 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 no. Which part are you doing in question oh. one? Hey, I get the answer, so I mess. So no B. Okay, and Summer? Uh, uh, I, I can't oh, understand the, the, uh, how, how, to, how to do the question in the... Yeah, this. Oh, this, this is a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What? Yeah, in the highest... Uh, uh, in the height. Yeah. Maximum height. Uh, the, the speed just in the... In the Vertical. Uh, vertical, yeah. Uh, the vertical uh, is like uh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, uh, sin 60. Yeah. 50 sin 60 is the U. Yeah, yeah. The V is zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, here is 25. In the. In yeah, but the X is 25. And uh, the. Here is the, the X. Is, yeah. In, in X is uh, but you 20. Do we, we need uh, this? This, yeah, this is, is zero. This what? is zero. In, in What's going on? You're very confused. In, in no, 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 You're very confused. U, V, A, T, S, okay? Yeah. So the U is 43, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 43.3. The V is zero. The A is minus 9.81, and I want to know the S. So that's this. You're uh, only looking vertical. Vertical. You don't care about horizontal. Actually, it's for yeah. part for part B. Oh, part B. Yeah. Oh. So now is uh, we we part A is T and part. And S is zero. X. In part A. Oh, sorry. Uh, part. Oh, sorry, sorry. Part yeah, yeah, sorry. Time. Part A is the time. And part B is the S. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so part A I ask you for the time and part B I ask you for the S. So, yeah. Yes. Uh, but in the hair, in, in this mm -hmm. point, yeah. uh, the speed in the, in the Y is zero. Yeah. 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 We, we need the speed in, in X. Why? No. Why do we need the speed in X? I'm confused. I don't ask you for the speed. Uh, no, no, no. The speed in here. Yeah. Oh. To solve this question, yeah. we just need the beginnings. Yes. Yeah. Beginnings. Uh, yeah, that's all we need. In, in, yeah. in what? Yeah. We don't need the, this point speed. You know this point speed. It's zero. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you don't care about the x. Because oh. remember, we said x and y are independent. We just uh, think about the, the, the just the y in the beginning. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, guys. Uh, we'll continue. You'll have to finish it at home. I think this is a difficult lesson. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Is it okay? I don't know about that. Happy smell. Okay, I believe you. Um. I think we can do a tutorial tomorrow on this yeah. and the last lesson. Okay. I think tomorrow? you can. I tomorrow is the last I lesson. I have not school homework today. <laughs> <laughs> because we, we had two, two lessons and yesterday I will. Also not well, forget about, forget about yesterday's because I'll do that tomorrow. So. Don't worry, we'll do this lesson now, but you can try, this lesson is easy. You could try to get it finished for Wednesday instead, you know. Just for tomorrow, tomorrow I just want you to try the projectiles. Because okay. I'll do some tomorrow, yeah. Uh, and also, of course, you said you want to do 
two and three from the lesson before that. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll continue. You can try your best at home. Okay. Um, you can just try your best. Uh, question three and six are hard. Hmm? Three and six are hard. Three and six. six. Yeah. Six is hard and three is hard. Oh, three and six. Three and six, yeah. Okay. So. So you could try them, but if you... But don't don't take too much time. You can skip it if it's too hard. Three and six. And the first one. First one's easy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to tell you this. <laughs> Sorry to tell you this. Okay, we'll continue now. So the next lesson, Newton's three laws. You know Newton? Yeah, I know. Of course. Yeah. His name in Chinese? Your Newton. Name. Yes. Okay. Um, and he has three laws. We're going to have a look at those now. Okay, so think about Newton's three laws in Chinese. What's wrong? Do you know Newton's three laws in Chinese? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, give me his first law in English. Um, the first. <laughs> I, I don't know, don't know the one, two, or three. Okay, but well, give me the one you know. Yeah. The. That's number three. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Number one. What's that one? Newton's first law, yeah? No, that's more like the second one. Is uh Yeah? What one says is here, if yeah. you pu push that, yeah. it, it will move. But Correct. If, if you don't push that, it will... Correct, that's will Newton's be. first law. So Newton's first law says, if it's at rest, that means not moving, then it stays at rest. Or if it's in a if it's in motion, it will continue in motion until it's acted on by a force. So this is what you're saying. If it's at rest, yeah. it stays at rest until there's a force. Yeah. Or if it's in motion. It will stay in motion until there's a force. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You should write this down in English. I'm sure you know it in Chinese. Yeah. I forgot. Oh, so now you can learn it in English. You remember this in Chinese somewhere, do you? Uh, actually, I. Uh, <laughs> no, you, you, no, you, no. You, you, you remember a little. A little. Yeah. Okay. Ah, 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 no, 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 no. What's your question? Uh, I ask him if I'm right for the first law. Do you have a, the word, like a noun for this? Like, uh, what do we say? If you push it, they won't stop. Do you have your own. Inertia. Inertia is the word, the noun. It is the first law? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. That's what you were trying to tell me, was it? Uh, that word you're looking for, that noun, is inertia. inertia. Yeah, I'll write it down for you. Uh, sorry. Yeah, one second, don't worry. Inertia. 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 Uh, it means if you pu pu uh, don't, 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 don't look at yeah. it. Yeah. If you pu push, the, push one thing and then they will move. move so, uh, yeah. Inertia is a noun. Uh -huh. It means what makes it not move. So this not moving, right? Uh -huh. Because it has inertia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, no, 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 no. Her, her question. Yeah. Uh, her question is: uh, If you push one thing, don't uh, don't look at this this new one. Uh, if you push one thing, he will move. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, also, that's inertia. 
But uh, what I'm saying here, you have with inertia. Yeah. You have gravity. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's um. It's the same thing for both. It's inertia that makes this not move, and it's inertia that keeps this moving. It's the same for both. Mm. Okay. okay, but I don't know why we stay here. You still the stop still have inertia. It's the same as gravity. No, inertia is the the thing it has that makes it stay doing what it's doing. So if it's doing nothing, oh. it will oh. stay doing nothing. And if it's moving, it will stay moving. Inertia is what makes it keep its keep uh, its state. It, is, it means uh, this is still, 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 uh, no, 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 don't move. Stay Just uh, stay here. And uh, if you don't push that, uh, his, uh, he will uh, stay here for forever. forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's keep inertia. The, keep, keep the uh, the beginnings the same. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. The same keep, the beginning. Keeps the situation the same. Yeah. That's inertia. So inertia is a force. No, it's like a uh, something special. I don't so know. what's the unit for inertia? Oh, we don't we don't worry about that. We don't calculate that. So you just say yeah. your inertia is stable. No, no, no. Yeah. Inertia is just the name of the. It's the name of the effect. I it's, got yeah. The yeah. Just, just to think about the Chinese it, uh, means inertia. I found. Uh, yeah, I know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, this just just to, just to stay here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just to stay here. Uh, if 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 uh, no one put uh, touch touch it, he, he will stay here yeah. forever. Uh, and uh, the inertia is uh, is not a uh, action or uh, or. Yeah, unseen. it's not an action. It's yeah. not a force. Yeah. Something. It's something inside. A property. A feature. Yeah. A special feature. I got, I you got, got the idea. <laughs> no, it's good. This is good. No, this is good. This is good. This is good practice of English. It's good practice of English. So, um, for example, okay, um, this table has more inertia than this remote because if this is not moving and this is not moving, which is harder to make move? This. Okay. But it's related to gravity. It is related related to gravity. It's not, it's not equal. It's just related. Correct. More precisely, it's related to the mass, the kilograms, more precisely. And if this table was moving and this was moving, which would be easier to stop? This one. Again, because this has more inertia. Now, it's related to the mass. But it's not quite the same as the mass. Okay? But the reason it's not quite the same is complicated. And you will learn this at university. So for this level, we can say the inertia is like the mass. Yeah, it's like it. And it's in some way. Yeah, it's similar. It's similar. Do we have uh, some equation in Newton's first law? No. Okay. Inertia is not Newton's first law? No, it is. Newton's first law is also called, you know, Newton's inertia law. Yeah. 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 It's okay. Yes, we call it we call it Newton's first law here. Yeah, okay. Maybe in China you call it Newton's inertia law. Uh, we call, we call that both. 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 Okay. Both, yeah. Right. Do you have this written down? Now you need to know this for the exam because they could ask you this in the exam. Yeah. It's too far to remember that. No, no, because you can use your own words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, um, from the past. Week, tell me Newton's first law in English. Go, tell me. In your own words. It has two parts, okay? Think about the two parts. Look at me. First part, this. Nothing happens. And part two. Moving. Moving until this. Okay, so what is it in your own words? 
So the first part, if the, if the sun will stay here? Yeah, if the mass is not moving. Yeah, if the stuff is not moving. Yep. It will continue not to move. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then the second part, if it is moving, Keep it, moving. it continues to move. Okay. Until, until another force to stop until it. another force stops it or okay. changes it. Okay? It's fine, it's fine. Right. So here's an example of Newton's first law. If it's at rest, it will stay at rest until a force acts on it. And then if it's in motion, it will stay in motion until a force acts on it. Okay. Yeah? Okay, that's Newton's first law. Right. Newton's second law, you learned this law already. It's force is the product of mass and acceleration. That is F equals MA. Okay, that's Newton's second law. We need to... Oh, yes. So the exam always have a definition to write? Something. They usually ask you one of Newton's laws. Laws of two laws. So use our own word is fine. Yeah. Every class we can use our two class. Ah, no, that's good for you. It's good for you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Every week we have a little surprise. That's good. It's good. Okay, you got this. Right, so, you know, more mass, more velocity, more acceleration means more force. You, you know this one already. Okay. Now, what's Newton's third law? I don't know how to say uh, the force is... Uh, mm -hmm. is balance? Like uh, balance. It's like it, balance. It's, uh, uh, if I if I punch punch this, the same force will will. Oh, like opposite. Yeah, yeah. correct. Good. Yeah. So the word opposite is in the definition. Yeah, and not only is it opposite, but it's the same size. Yeah. Yeah. So is yeah. So that you said you put a force here. Yeah. Then this has a force back on it. Yeah. It's opposite. It's also equal in the size. Okay. So, Newton's third law says, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Yeah? Still a little bit in the memory, good. This is what you were thinking, the action and the reaction. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's a picture. So, example, if the balloon moves forward, if there's a force that makes the balloon move forward, it's because the, the force, the air coming out the back, you know, it's equal and opposite. So the air that the air that comes out of the back is equal to the this force forward. It's, his example is also good. You know, if I, if I punch the wall, there's a force from my hand on the wall, but the wall also hits me yeah. with the same force. Yeah. Yeah? What's wrong, Gav? I remember we had some, we did some question before about reality of the third law. Did we? It's like something go to a station and you know that stop and the fire going back and no splash. you can find it later you can tell me right we, uh, we can say it. I hit his face and his <laughs> face in his hand <laughs> yeah that's true that's true uh, now the example where we use Newton's third law is here in this picture so like with the coffee cup here yeah, yeah. there's a force of gravity but the cup's not moving. Mm. It's, yeah, 
So, there must be another force this way to cancel this one here, yeah. like in the picture. So we call this force here the reaction force. And it's the force provided by the reacting object. Usually, usually a table. It's usually a table. But it could be, could be a wall. Um, you know. But it has two colors. Yeah. Should be equal. Always from the middle point of the star. Yeah, yeah. Okay, continue. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's have a look at some examples. Here's a short one for you to do. It's a small one. You have twenty kilograms on a table. What is the reaction force? I want you to calculate that. Uh, one hundred nine. 196.2. Yeah, so 196 newtons. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fine. Right, now, here's a little bit harder. A block of mass 200 kilograms is on top of a table. Okay? Uh, a man tries to lift the block up by using a rope. He pulls with a thousand newtons. So here he is. Uh, he's pulling with a thousand newtons, okay? But the block doesn't move, so he's not strong enough. Uh, so there's a force here of 200 G, yeah. yeah. And there's also a force here from the table called the reaction force. My question for you, I want you to calculate OR. Okay, so I want you to tell me what the OR is here. Mm. 200 G? Yeah. It is, you it's know? Also, the 200, uh, 200, oh, sorry, I, I will. Um, it is 200 kg. No, 200 G, G 9.81. G? Just a G. G, G, G equals MG. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The weight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 200 multiplied 9.81 is 1000. Nine hundred and sixty-two newtons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It is the reaction is R. No, no. It's R. No, no. So it's nine hundred sixty-two. Yeah. Nine hundred and sixty-two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The R is nine hundred and sixty-two newtons. Yeah. 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 So in this we have to use Newton's first law and yeah. 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 And third law. Yeah. So the third law gives me the or. or yeah, yeah. And the first law says or plus 1000 mm -hmm. should equal W. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. But if, if the rock moves? Yeah. If the yeah, if the rock moves, then not true. Yeah. Uh, it means uh, the it is, it is it's balanced. Yeah, the OR is 962. Yeah, suppose this moves up. It moves off the table. Yeah. Then what's the OR? Well, uh, what's yeah. the R is, uh, is uh, one... Let's say, let's, sorry, let's say he's strong. Yeah. Let's say it's 4,000. Oh, yeah. What's the OR? The force on them. Force on them. Uh, it's, it's, it's uh, force on... Uh, force on minus... Minus... minus. Zero. Zero. Very good. Zero. What? It's so uh, because uh, if the R is uh, the ground, okay. yeah, the R is the ground gives this force. If the block moves off the table, there is no R. Oh, uh, uh, under, so uh, it's already. It's it's already yeah, because it's four thousand newtons. Yeah. He lifts it off the table because he only needs to be stronger than this. Yeah, I, I, I thought your means is a 
the fourth fourth from from the man. The fourth from the man. Uh, I saw that. Uh, yeah, but the fourth from the man is four thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, we continue. Uh, right, we're back again to the man and the block. So this time, uh, what is it? Two hundred kilograms. Um, and the man's pulling this time. So he pulls with a thousand newtons. Let me draw my man. There he is. One thousand newtons. The angle. The angle is forty-five. Oh. Keep it easy. And my question again, I want to know what is this? This ore again. Yeah, it should be should be bigger than the last answer. Okay, but I don't know if it should be that big. It's forty-five. Forty-five degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what you should have, you should have or plus one thousand over root two should equal two hundred g. Yes. These two, when you add them together, should equal this. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So R is yeah, yeah. two hundred. Uh, two hundred multiply nine point eight one minus one thousand over root two. Yeah. yeah. What What do you get? Uh, yeah, root two. One thousand two hundred fifty-five. Because this is one thousand over root two, and this is one thousand over root two. What's wrong, Summer? No. Cos 45, sine 45. Sine 45. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, 1 yeah, over yeah. root 2. Uh, oh, yeah. That's the same right, thing. It's the right thing. It's the right thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 1 right. over root 2 yeah. is 2 over root 2. Yeah, yeah it's the same. Yeah. Okay, continue. Yeah, continue. Gav, is this okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I think I do I have two left but this one's kind of similar except this one has some friction force you know friction mm -hmm. but I don't think that will cause you a problem this one here I think might cause you a problem so I'll do this one uh, a weighing scale of, you know the weighing scales you stand on to measure your weight. So you know, it's quite interesting actually. What does this measure when you stand on it? What does it measure here? You think it measures this, doesn't it? Oh, what, what? Kg. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't actually. What it does is it measures your reaction and then it changes that into kilograms. So you might think maybe it measures your M. No, it doesn't. You think, oh, maybe it measures your weight. No, it doesn't. It measures your reaction. But normally, normally, R equals W, right? Yeah. And what does W equal? Mg. Mg. Yeah. So if it takes R and divides it by G, it can calculate your mass. So that's easy to do. Now, Sorry. yeah. The question again. Well, no, for, no, first I'm telling you, you know when you stand on the weighing scales, yeah. it tells you how many kg you are. Yeah. You think it's measuring your mass. It's not. What? It measures your reaction. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the R equals the W. If you're not moving, that's why you shouldn't move on it. 
So if the R equals the W and the W equals the MG, then if it knows your R, it just divides by G and it can know your M. So, so you mean when we stand in a square, actually we are more, the way is not exactly what it is? No, yeah, it's not because, for example, if you're at the top of a mountain, the G is different. Uh, yeah. So the answer's wrong. And if you're standing, but you're moving, you know, you're moving a little bit, then also uh, it's wrong. So it's only when you're not moving, yeah. it's correct. Should we over G again? Yeah. If we are not moving, we just stay there. So we don't have G. Well, I mean, G is is inside of it. It programmed. Yeah, just a program. The yeah. Teacher said the the G in uh is different because uh, when you stand stand uh, yeah, yeah. very high. Uh, the G is different yeah. from if you stand very and low. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah. If I, you know, the, the scale? scale Scales, yeah. Uh, scales you is the scale. see the scale and like a seat? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think it's if you move. No move, just. Or if you're sitting. Should be, should be, should be okay. Should be, should be okay. No. It, it's only it, it because you are, you are, if you sit here, you are, you are, you are fit. Uh, do you mean, yeah. <laughs> do you mean sit on the scales or if you're on a seat? No, no, no. In the first one, yeah, yeah. it should be the same. Yeah. Why? Well, because it's the same force. It doesn't matter about the shape. So, so actually, I think this is will be more. Well, that's because when they make this, um, it only works if you have force here and here yeah. because of how they designed it. Uh, uh. If you have your force over this, it, <laughs> you know. Anyway, we're getting distracted. <laughs> um, what's happening here? Um, I have an elevator. And it's moving up, okay? And um, you, yeah, you stand inside on the weighing scales. Here you are, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. You did the same thing, exactly the same thing. Did you? Nice <laughs> this, oh, no. Nice bear, nice bear. There's a book on this, and the book is 0 0.5 kilograms. Uh, and it moves up with acceleration of one meter per second squared. <laughs> yeah. Same question? Yeah. And just can you be more? Correct. My question is how much more? So <laughs> this does not say 0 0.5 kilograms, does it? Yeah. yeah, yeah will it say more or less? It will say more, more yeah. when you're moving up yeah. and less uh, when you're moving down yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we want to calculate how much it's not that difficult don't worry so look when it's moving up there's two forces here the weight and the reaction yeah. which is bigger when it move is moving up uh, reaction. Reaction. reaction so the or is bigger than the w yeah. In fact, the total force is R minus W. Yeah. Yeah. But what did Newton say F equals? He said it's MA. MA. Yeah. Now we know the M, it's 0 0.5, and we know the A. Yeah. And we don't, we don't know the R, but we know the W. The W is MG. Yeah. So what's the R? The R is 0 0.5 plus 9.81. Which, uh, which is 10.31 newtons. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Gav. The M is not 1. What is the M? 0 0.5. Oh. I wrote 1. I was thinking the A is 1. Yeah. yeah. 9.81. Okay, so can you tell me what the OR is? It's 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 times 9.81 4 
5.41 newtons. Yeah. Now look! Uh, uh, maybe it's a pin? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I have the 9.80. Uh, oh! Yeah, yeah, Summer. Yeah. 9.81, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the answer here? 4.91 Newtons. Are you sure? 4.4. Get I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. We will. Oh. You get a 4.91 and plus 0. That's the door. R equals. 0 0.5 plus. Plus. Equals 0 0.5 plus equals 0.5 minus. What's wrong, Summer? What's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong? We don't we don't understand what's wrong. What's wrong with this? Huh? It comes from this. Yeah. 5.4. I'm continuing. I'm continuing, Summer. I'm continuing. You're confusing me. So look. <laughs> Here's your weighing scales, okay? okay? And it says kg. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget it. It says kg on it. Okay. How does the how does this machine work? Remember, it says it measures your ore. It can't measure your weight. Yeah. It can't weigh, measure your mass. It can only measure your ore. Yeah. And it thinks it thinks that the ore should equal W, because it thinks you're not moving, yeah. and it thinks the m should equal the W should equal mg. Yeah. So it will say your mass will equal the OR over 9.81. Yeah. So it thinks your mass will be 5.405 over 9.81. So it says the mass is 0 0.551 kilograms. Yes, it's it thinks it's more heavy. Mm. Now it's not really. It's the same mass, but because of how the machine is made, it thinks it's heavier. Because what's happening is, well, as you move up, uh, there's more force pushing into it. Yeah. And that's what's happening there. Yeah. You see, it's not so bad. Well, what's what's his whole question? The question is, what is the what is the reading? What does it say the mass is? Oh. So it's not re it is 0 0.5, yeah. but it says it's 0 0.551. Yeah. 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 It's okay. Yeah. I think we should finish on that question. So can you try to finish these ones for Wednesday? Yeah. The Newton's laws for Wednesday. But for tomorrow, try to finish the projectiles, if you can. Yeah. Which one? We'll do that in class tomorrow. We'll do a tutorial tomorrow. So tomorrow... In tomorrow we'll do this and we'll do this. Okay. Yeah? So tonight we will finish... Well, tonight finish this. Don't worry about this. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh. I mean, you can try again, but... It's more, <laughs> okay. it's more important yeah, yeah, yeah. that you try this. Okay. Yeah. After projectiles. After. Try projectiles first. Okay. All right. All right. Let's close. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs>